The long flight to the other side of the world in a normal plane is tough enough, so imagine making the journey in a flimsy microlight. It's taken Dave Sykes four months to travel almost 12,000 miles to Sydney from his home in Yorkshire. Unsurprisingly, when the Opera House and Harbour Bridge came into view, it was an emotional moment. I could see the bridge in front of me. I thought, this is what I've planned for, for two years for. This is the actual final flight of it all. And I just couldn't got, stop smiling, really. You know, then flying over the actual bridge, looking at all the people doing the bridge walk, waving at me. That was just something else, was that. <laughs> Charlie, Charlie, hold position. Congratulations, Willie Dave. It is an incredible achievement, but even more so for Dave. He's paralysed from the waist down after breaking his back in a motorbike accident. With his wheelchair strapped to his aircraft, nothing was going to stop this Yorkshireman making the trip of a lifetime, not even a horrendous lightning storm over Burma. There was a big uh, flash and a th the aircraft shuddered with um, a lightning strike at the side of me and it blew all the fuses out on the instruments. It got to a point where I wasn't scared anymore and it was just trying to survive, you know, and not crash. Crossing oceans, deserts and jungle, Dave flew over 18 countries. And who needs in-flight movies when you have a front row seat of the best views Mother Nature can provide? Raising money for Yorkshire's air ambulance, Dave coped with sandstorms and even the threat of being shot down over Iran. Now, though, he's just ready to head home. And in case you're wondering, Dave won't be going home by propeller power, but rather in a normal aeroplane. As for the microlite, well, that's going to be packed up, put in a container, and we'll head back to Britain by sea. Dave flew all the way to Australia on just a wing and a chair. Something worth considering next time you complain about being on a long-haul flight. Jonathan Samuels, Sky News, Sydney.